when you sort of look back over the first 15 years of CGD, what's changed, not just within the organisation, but in the world, if you like, and how are we poised, do you think, for the next 15? Oh, that's a wonderful question. You know, I think the big change in the world is associated with the rise of the emerging markets and the change thus in the geo-strategic balance of power among countries. And I've written a lot about how the U.S. compared to 15 years ago when it was a hyperpower. Now it's only, <laughs> in quotation marks, a superpower. So the U.S. still matters immensely, and we see that over and over again. If the U.S. isn't there on an issue, like the IMF quota reform, things can get bogged down. So that's a big change in the world, but also one that we shouldn't overdo. We still need the U.S. at the helm on many issues. But we need the U.S. at the helm in a way that brings along followers. The U.S. can't be what I've called, in some written work, a benign bully anymore. It has to be leading by influence and persuasion. So I, I'd mark that as a big difference. So at CGD, we have a huge comparative advantage because we're in Washington and we have lots of informal relations with past, current, and probably future leaders in the economic and political system in the U.S. and in the U.S. government. So it, it takes me back to the, a, a wish for 2016, which is that we, as, a, as an American, I want, even though it's going to be a difficult year with the presidential election, I'd like to see the U.S. at least hold the Ford <laughs> on progress that has been made here on attention to development issues. And let me mention an area where I think it's worth our thinking more about it and working more with the U.S. leadership at USAID especially, which is humanitarian issues, where the U.S. has a comparative advantage. It's always taken leadership. We have very good work led by Owen Barter here at CGD on thinking about new ways of delivering humanitarian assistance. And second, I would say, the U.S. has always been the land of immigration and has benefited enormously. I really would hope in 2016 that the US, my country would step up 